Bad breath is a big problem. Especially if you are a person that is all the time with other people. And many of the people having this problem can't find the right solution of it. They have tried many different options such as air fresheners, toothpastes and many other things but they managed some. Eh how to still have the problem. Now this video will show what is causing that problem. And how to solve it. The reason for having bad breath that is not going away is stones in tonsils. They are making the bad breath because they are releasing a gas that has bad smell. They can be seen on the tonsils as little dots. They are actually a lump of mucus. Bacteria and stored food that has been collection for some time in the back of the throat. When this happens, besides having bad breath, maybe you will have difficulties with swallowing the food. Assemble your materials. Get together the cotton swabs and other necessary components. Cotton swabs. Toothbrush. A mirror. Flashlight. Flashlight app. Or lamp that you can direct. Running water. Shine a light down your throat. Open your mouth and shine the light into your mouth. Do this in front of a mirror so that you can locate the tonsil stones. Flex your tonsils. Close off. Or flex. Your throat muscles while sticking out your tongue. Go ah. And tighten the muscles in the back of your throat. Do this while holding your breath. Almost as if you were gargling water. This should push your tonsils forward so you can see them better. Prepare the cotton swab. Run water and dab the cotton swab into it. This will make it softer and less irritating for your throat. Don't put it down. Or you risk contamination. Minimize the contact your cotton swab makes with any germ carrying surface. Including your hands. When you remove the stones. Shake them off into the sink without touching your swab to any surface. Or wipe them on a clean paper towel. If you touch something like the sink or counter with your swab. Trade it for a new one. Poke at the stones gently with your cotton swab. Press or poke at your stone until you dislodge it. Carry it out of your mouth on the cotton swab. Be very gentle, as bleeding may occur. Although a little bit of bleeding is normal, try as much as you can to minimize the bleeding. Cuts and wounds can get infected by the same bacteria in your mouth that cause tonsil stones. Rinse if bleeding occurs, and brush your teeth and tongue as soon as it stops. Rinse with water and repeat. Rinse with water and move on to the next stone. Rinse especially if your saliva feels sticky, which sometimes occurs after the throat has been poked, as sticky saliva starts forming. Drink water to thin it out. Check for any hidden stones. After you have extracted all the stones you can see, place your thumb into your neck under your jaw, and your clean index finger into your mouth right beside your tonsil and gently try to squeeze any remaining stones to the openings like squeezing out toothpaste. If no stones appear, don't assume they aren't there. Some craters are very deep and it is sometimes hard to get them all. If you like our video, please give us thumbs up and share this video with family and friends. Thanks.